need to rev your engines because the Roanoke Valley Mustang Car Show is this weekend. We're giving you a behind the scenes look at some of the cool cars you can see. The sun is starting to come up here, so we're seeing more flowers. And we actually got to pick the first sunflowers of the festival. We got that honor here this morning. And forget the drive through this year. Get out of your car, get your costumes, and have fun walking around our 10 different candy booths. Getting you ready for a great Halloween. The last minute costume ideas you can do to have a spooky fun time. Here we go. All right, go, 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 go. Dinosaurs have taken over Roanoke. We'll show you some of the fun and education you can have at Explore Park. I'm gonna patch in my microphone. I don't wanna get that wet. Are you ready to channel your inner pirate and head on out to Smith Mountain Lake? I'm gonna get this. We'll show you some of the fun events and games that you can join in on this weekend. Come on out to Smith Mountain Lake this weekend and join on in on the fun. There's just so much to see and so much to do. We'll have all the details on WSLS.com. There are about 300 ornaments on this tree and some of them are even handmade by the community. As you can see, this one right here says, I wish for peace, love, and happiness for all. So tons of these all over that tree. This is Aphrodite. If you can see her cute little face, she's just waking up. So she's tired. We've got her this morning and her friend Flash as well. But the reason we've got these goats is because also at the Sunflower Festival, you can do goat yoga. Yeah, there is a lot of restaurants that you can try out this week. And guys, right now I'm so happy because look at all these tacos. There are just so many tacos here. We are at Tuco's and we are joined by Jojo Soprano, the manager. So good morning. How are we doing today? Good morning. Doing good. Doing good. Happy to be here so early. That's our buffalo taco. I was going to say, so I have yeah, to try. Yeah, Let me interrupt you real quick. <laughs> buffalo taco, let's try this out. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's great to, to see what DRI does uh, just for the downtown community. It's just a great organization. Before we were in the arcade, now we've stepped into the strike zone, the bowling alley, and I'm joined here with the Nick. So good morning. Can you tell us a little bit, you know, about when people walk through these doors, what can they experience? They can experience a lot of fun. So let's test this out. Let's see All how right. good of bowlers we okay. are. So let's do this together. You ready? Right. Yep. Three, two, one. Yep. There we go. All right, come on. Ah, you did better than I did. <laughs> awesome. There are plenty of activities out here for you and your families to enjoy at the Sinclair Farms Pumpkin Festival. And uh, Susan and I are actually going to do a little competition right now at one of them. We're going to see who can win the pumpkin chuggins. So uh, go ahead, Susan, you go first. Me first? Yes, of course, okay, go first. Okay, okay. You got this. Okay. Oh, you did it. All right, your let's, turn. let's see. I don't know if okay. I'm that good. Ready? Nope. Oh, Susan won. One more time. Okay, one more. Oh. Let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, we got it. Awesome. See you guys. All right. <laughs> Guy. Tell him to go more than 60, right? He can do it. Are you safe? <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Listen to that. The Winter Walk of Lights, it opens tomorrow night. A family tradition for a lot of folks mm -hmm. here in Southwest Virginia. 10 News reporter Brittany Weir is experiencing it for the first time this year. She's live from Explore Park with What's New. What do you think, Brittany? Oh, I think it is just absolutely beautiful. I love Christmas lights. And here at Illuminate, you can come and experience it and walk down their trail and take in all the sights and sounds of the season. There are 100,000 new lights and new displays to experience this year. You'll notice when you enter Illuminates this year, we have our new snowflake arch entrance. So you'll definitely be able to see that right when you come into the parking lots. You'll be able to see some new RGB light displays, like a fountain that we have, and some new music displays as well. As you walk through the winter wonderland, you will notice displays representing four different themes. A giant bear for over the river and through the woods, zip liners from outdoor adventure, sparkly ornaments from Christmas traditions, and magical unicorns from the fantasy area. So a little bit of everything for everyone and some really cool lights displays. Don't forget to step off the trail and see if you can find your way out of the Christmas maze and stop at the many photo ops along the way.
each night when you're out here, it's really cool to see the smiling faces and the oohs and ahs from all the from all the kids and all uh, all the older kids as well. At Illuminites, you can also get some of your holiday shopping done at the Artisan Christmas Village. 50 local and regional artisans who have a lot of wares and different crafts that are Christmas themed that you can get mostly here at Explore Park that are exclusives. And if you come out here and it's a cold night like it is this morning, don't worry. There are fireplaces that you can cozy up by and even roast some marshmallows and a ton of other treats to enjoy. And inside that artisan market is a place where you can write your letter to Santa so he knows what you want for Christmas. Reporting live in Roanoke, Brittany Weir, 10 News, working for you. Oh, what's going to be on your Christmas list, Brittany? Oh, I don't know. I wish I had all these lights in my front yard. I think that would be <laughs> right. I know. Yes. I know. It's yes. a perfect thing to get you in the Christmas spirit. That's for sure. You look so Christmassy today.